All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Mike You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. A bill of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Go. Well, every time we walk into this here in Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 Championship Triple Header. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Nama Yunus knocked out the one Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night and a great night. Man, not sure if it was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, nice. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. That was a big, nice strike. Flipped with a right hand counter. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. 
Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Nice side kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar time. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Just over two minutes to go. Don't wait. You hit oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with this, the speed and the power of that jab, it's something you can't really prepare for. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, high kick. Oh, back to the head kick now. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Nice leg kick, Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Big shot lands for both guys. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Good block there. Five minutes in the books. All right, man, sit down. That was okay. I need you to start looking for the takedown, okay? Let's get out there, and I want you to put this guy on his back. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And 
Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big body kick. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. reaching down to catch that kick. Here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Nice shot inside by the champion. Yeah, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Establishing the jab here. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Nice head kick gets to him. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, nice. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Very fast jab lands. Thirty seconds to go in round two. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Beautiful body kick. Oh, another massive kick. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Final seconds of the round. There's that patented single. Lee getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, that's the end of the round. Some significant damage done, or so it appears. The fighter's got a cut above his eye from that round. Cut man going to earn his money here. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready. Four. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Grips the body there. Well, you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, outlining just how effective he has been with the jab here tonight. He established it early. That was a big thing for his camp coming in, and they certainly have done their homework. Let's see where he goes from here. Back to his feet. Whiffs on that offering. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Fighter lands a left hand. Oh, another kick right on the cap. Now, I'd tap out, but I'm not a fighter. What do you do? I mean, there's not much you can do now. You gotta just bite down on the mouthpiece and get through it. Because right now, you won't change much. It's already beat up too far. Three minutes to go in round three. Nice. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Well, I always marvel at the physical toughness of you and our entire roster, but dude, that thigh is in rough shape. Yeah, at some point, it doesn't matter how tough you are. When you have taken that many shots, it starts to dead leg you. He'll start to have trouble walking and moving around the octagon, and then you become a stationary target. Straight right is there. Two minutes. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice signal, yes. from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expecting to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded. Feels like the beginning of the end. This is big. That's big. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, the bruising on that calf, really problematic at this point in time. I might walk into the octagon and check a kick for <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to do something, because right now he is getting that leg beat up. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, beautiful counter. Right. A little single collar tie there. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round.
All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could Ready secure fight. in a fight. He Ready. did it all the right Ready. way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns before, he needs to react a little bit. And that one certainly found the target. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, at times he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so. And now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. That calf is just getting tortured. I'm not sure how much more I need to see. He's gonna be the karate kid. Yeah, he's gonna be hopping on one foot here in a second because there's nothing he's gonna do to change the way that this fight is playing out. It's uh, it's hard to watch and it's hard to watch a team just allow their fighter to take this type of damage. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Plants a good series of kicks here. What a fight. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man